Hey YouTube, this is Print Practical. In this video, we're going to go over some cool 3D printing techniques that I use in a lot of my designs. So I commonly run into situations where I design my 3D piece. This is just a 3D printed block with some holes in it. And then there's also some special holes in the back, which we'll go over in a second. And then I have one or more components that are either 3D printed or it could be 3D printer parts or anything else that I want to attach to this via a screw. And we're gonna go over three different strategies that you could do that with. Um, one of them is not really preferred, but it's the easiest. And then the other two are definitely better um, in terms of durability. So let's go over those now. So we're gonna be using some standard M3 screws with a hex head on them. These are super common on 3D printer extruders, etc. So that's what we're gonna be using for our screw. So for the first strategy, we're gonna use this top hole here which is drawn in at 2.9 millimeters. So it's a little smaller than the standard M3 screw. So we're just gonna screw it directly into the plastic. So it's definitely possible to use a screw and just thread it directly into a smaller hole, kind of forcing its own threads into the plastic. I've done this in a lot of 3D prints before and I've found that eventually it usually gets loose and fails, especially if the part is something that moves or shakes in any way. Um, it'll eventually just kind of strip itself out and pull out of the hole. So we're going to show that here. I don't prefer this method. Um, I prefer the following two methods. So let's just thread it in. Okay, so the screw is fully threaded into the plastic. Now I had to be very careful because if I start to over tighten it, then it's going to strip itself out. And right now it's pretty strong. I mean, pulling on this. I can't, I can't get it to lift. So it's doing a good job, but let me see if I just uh, over tighten this a little bit, what will happen. And it's possible, you know, I made this block kind of thick, so it's possible that it might actually grip. Nope, I just felt it break loose there. So now it's totally broken loose inside of there. I keep twisting it, it's not getting any tighter. Um, like I said, you know, one time use screws or something, it'll probably be okay. Um, but this is definitely not preferred. I stripped it out. I can't really get it any tighter if I had to. Um, so let's move on to the next method. So the next strategy we're going to go over is using an M3 nut. Um, you can pick these up at Lowe's, super cheap. It's like a dollar for a whole box and it's super easy to do, install them into the part. So at design time, you do have to plan for this and you put a hexagon extrusion in at exactly the distance between the two points on the nut. So for a M3 nut, it is six millimeters. So made a six millimeter hexagon here. And then we're going to use a soldering iron to sink the nut right into the plastic. So we have the nut pretty much lined up with the hole. So we're gonna take our soldering iron we're gonna hold it against the nut. And voila, the nut is just perfectly embedded into the piece of plastic now. Now the nut is embedded into the plastic. You can try and thread your screw in through the other side. Now it is possible that you go to thread this through and you start to feel it bind up. And right now, yeah, it's starting to bind on me. So this is perfect if this happens and I can show you what to, what to do in this situation. Yeah, so it's binding pretty hard now. And if I continue to screw this, um, I can, one, I can bend my Allen wrench, which I've already done in the past, uh, but it also might even push the nut out the other side. So let me show you how to fix this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to screw your screw into the nut from the opposite side. And then I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell in person. But you look at it from two sides. So you look at it from this side and it honestly looks pretty good. And then if you look at it from this side, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell by looking at it in person, this screw is kind of bent over to the left. 
Um, so that means that the nut isn't seated fully flat in the plastic, and that's why it's binding up when you're trying to thread it in uh, from the other side. So how to fix that is that you're gonna leave the screw in there, and you're gonna take the soldering iron, and you're going to hold it against the screw like so, and just be careful not to burn yourself. I'm trying to do this while filming. And eventually the screw will heat up, which will heat up the nut, and then it'll bend over and push that side of the nut into the plastic a little more. So I'm not sure if it moved. I can't see because I'm looking at it from a sideways angle. So I'm just going to do exactly what I just said, and then I'll check back in. So I don't really know if you can see on camera, but this screw is now sticking out perfectly straight from two different sides. So wait for it to cool down. I'll give it, you know, a minute or two and then I'll unthread it, thread it in from the other side and we should be good. So we have our nut embedded into the back of our print and it's aligned perfectly. We have our top and our screw. So let's screw it in. All right, so now that is tight. I can't even spin the top or barely on here. And I can tighten this as hard as I want. It'll probably break right through the plastic, um, especially if you get a beefier screw and nut in there. Um, you can do this with any size. Um, it just might take a little longer with a bigger nut or bigger screw to heat it up. But this is definitely a one of the ideal methods. I mean, this is super strong and you can take this in and out you know, as many times as you want and it's not gonna wear out. So that is the strategy uh, using a hex nut. All right, and for the last strategy, we have these brass threaded inserts. Um, you can buy a whole case of these on Amazon that range from M3 to I think M5 in different uh, depths. And these are super useful and you can use the same soldering iron technique to put them into the plastic. So let's show you how to do that. Once again, a very solid option. Um, this isn't coming out of the plastic and uh, you know, you could probably pull it through the plastic by tightening it and cranking it down on it. Um, so there we go. That's the second strategy, worked out awesome. So just as a quick example of an application of this, um, I have two of my X-Carriage designs here. Uh, this PET-G one is one of the newer designs, so I have yet to sink the hardware into it. But you can see that I put those hex extrusions here uh, where the fan shroud bolts go. And then I also have them way down in these holes for the hot end bolts. Uh, because in one of my previous revisions, I noticed after a lot of movement and stuff, the hot end started to become loose and the fan shroud was falling off. Um, so those are some changes I made. Um, here's one of my failed X carriages. Um, and here it just shows that the nuts are embedded into the 3D print and it worked out really well. That's not why this one failed. You could probably tell why it failed. There's some distortion here on the bottom of the carriage. But just wanted to show you that's a great application. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Um, this is a super cool technique to use when you're doing 3D design and, and specifically for 3D printing. You know, it's always good to have metal threads in your parts. Uh, the plastic just strips right out. So uh, thanks for watching. If you could subscribe, that would be cool. And uh, comment if you want to see anything else down below.